In this video, I am going to very briefly describe interrupt requests, mainly because they are very detailed, and if you want to do some research on that, that's great, or leave me some feedback, that's fine. Uh, but basically, it's when a component of your computer, like say your keyboard or your mouse or your sound card or some network adapter, wants to get attention, uh, it wants to get the attention of the CPU, it will send what is called an interrupt request. And then the CPU would get that attention and uh, would uh, talk to whatever it was supposed to be talking to. This happens all the time in your computer. Uh, your monitor has to get the attention of your CPU sometimes, and, and your mouse then has to get the attention of the CPU, and then your keyboard has to get the attention of the CPU, and so on and so forth. And so that's the way the computer gets that kind of attention. Uh, to go into a further discussion would probably blow the minds of most people, uh, and I don't want to do that. You should pretty much leave the interrupt request uh, problems up to your computer service technician because they'll know more about this than uh, you would, would ever know. Uh, it's not that you couldn't learn it, it's just uh, I think it would take a lot of time and I think most people have better things to do with their time than to try to learn the specifications of an interrupt request. But if you want to learn, though I won't stop you, I'm just saying uh, there are better things to do with your time than try to learn something that sophisticated, unless, of course, you're going to make that a career of yours. And if you want to do that, that's fine with me. There's a lot of money to be made in it, but you really have to devote your time to it in order to make that kind of money. So, again, you want to learn it, that's fine. If you want to leave me further information about it, uh, right here, leave a comment, leave a video message, that's fine with me. Um, but I'm not going to cover any further because it would take too much time and it would be a real waste of uh, video footage. So, um, but that's up to you. I'd love to hear from you. I look forward to talking to you in a future video, so stay tuned.